Glamorgan set Fox's huge target after Brathwaite's century. Leicestershire had a difficult second day at Sophia Gardens. They'd been put under significant pressure by the Glamorgan first innings total and the home side's bowlers had picked up that baton and run with it. The Foxes finished the day on 191 for 9. Not a bad score on the face of it, but still 244 runs behind their hosts, 96 runs shy of avoiding the follow-on. There were positives, however. Chris Wright had looked in good touch and had offered some crucial resistance as the tail wagged in the closing stages. And that form continued as the innings resumed in the morning of day three, Wright and Davis dealing with the Glamorgan attack confidently. Their first target of 200 runs was reached quickly, an aggressive start from the Foxes paying dividends, and Wright was into the 40s. He'd be rewarded with a 50. Patel swept through the leg side to reach the landmark, his first for the county. The final wicket partnership would finally be put to bed. Wright danced past a Patel delivery and was stumped by Cook for 60. The pair had put on 92, falling agonisingly short of avoiding the follow-on. They'd be spared an immediate return to the middle, as the hosts declined the opportunity to put their opponents back in, preferring instead to increase their 172-run lead. It would be a comparatively slow start from the hosts, and they'd lose Selman early. He'd fall to Griffiths, LBW for eight. David Lloyd gave Wright a taste of his own medicine, Three boundaries coming from an over as the score ticked towards 50. But he'd fall for 25, caught behind off Davis. Lunch came with the score 63 for 2, Brathwaite now joined by Samit Patel. Despite the quick wickets, the pair looked settled after the restart. Brathwaite brought up the 50 partnership with a flick down to fine leg for four. But he'd lose Patel with the lead three runs shy of 300. The former England international out LBW to Ackerman for 33. Brathwaite would ensure that wicket did little to derail the innings and he was rewarded for a fine start with a first half century for Glamorgan. Root would go in the 46th over Wright pinning him LBW for 19 as the session drew to a close. Brathwaite remained at T, Glamorgan 171 for 4 and the West Indies International not out on 68 and the home side's lead approaching 350. Cook and Brathwaite continued after T, the side in the ascendancy reaching 200 unbeaten. When the opener heaved Ackman over square leg for four, their partnership was 50 runs and their lead was nearing 400. With the side six runs short of 250, Cook was bowled right with the wicket. Brathwaite, though, was just two runs short of a maiden Glamorgan century. He'd reached that with a cover drive off right. Four more runs added to the total and captain Chris Cook happy with his side's effort, declaring at 251 for five with a healthy 423 run lead. Leicestershire's task was an unenviable one and it was made all the more difficult when Horton fell in the fourth over of the innings, caught behind off Carey. Ackerman followed in Carey's next over, caught by Lloyd at first slip. Azad and Cosgrove would batten down the hatches and the boundaries dried up as the Foxes looked to survive through to the close of play. They'd reached the close of play at 31 for 2, still 393 runs short of the target. Leicestershire look like they'll aim to avoid defeat as this match heads into the final day, but Glamorgan have a lot to play for, still in the battle for a promotion place. The fourth day should be a fascinating contest.